<clears throat> Three, two, one. Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. We're right off the bat on the old show today. General Motors is making a huge investment in a factory in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And we usually normally don't talk about this kind of thing, but that over $400 million are going to be invested in that Bowling Green plant and in another $150 million that have been spent over the past couple of years in that plan as well has got the internet all aflutter over the rumors of what this means because that Bowling Green plant is the home of the Chevrolet Corvette. General Motors is claiming that this is going to be a brand new paint arm of the facility, but a lot of folks are pointing towards this means that that new mid-engine Corvette is on its way, and it will be called the Zora. Well, Apparently will be called the Zora, even though General Motors has actual trademarked that particular name after Zora Duntoff, the father of the Corvette. So we'll wait and see if this deal ends up being true. Another General Motors automobile, the Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Well, if you've got a hankering for one of these last editions, now that the new Camaro is heading to dealer showrooms next year, guess what? General Motors got your back because there is a price break on these. If you find a 2014, and apparently there's over a dozen left on dealer showrooms, you can get $4,000 off of this price. Now when it comes to 2015, which there's quite a bit more of them, there's a $2,000 chop off of the top of list price. Now there is a trick. This doesn't work on lease deals and it doesn't work on finance vehicles. You're going to have to pay cash or cut a check for this particular machine, but still... $2,000, $4,000, that's at least a new set of tires. Yeah, there you go. The folks over at Ford are we're anxiously awaiting the pricing on the brand new Mustang GT350. Well, apparently it's gotten leaked out over the past couple of days. Pricing on this machine will start at $49,995. Now, again, this is not official pricing on this particular machine, but this leaking sounds pretty doggone legit to me. And if you want to go up a stage for the GT350R, that will start at $63,495 US dollars. Again, don't know anything for sure, but one thing we do know for sure, that flat plane crank, normally aspirated V8, is going to make a ton of power. And we have yet to hear the power numbers on this thing as well. Next up on the list, speaking of a lot of power, you need to know about the Cadillac ATS-V, the little car that Cadillac was hoping to go head-to-head -head with Mercedes, C-Class, and BMW's 3 Series. Well, apparently they are going to bring the firepower to make that deal real. There is a rumor out there, in fact the folks over at Motor Trend are talking about it, that this vehicle will get, remember that Z28 that we were talking about earlier in the show? It's going to get that lump. The normally aspirated 7 liter LS7 V8, 427 cubic inches. This thing is going to be a monster. And a little car like this, I cannot wait. In fact, I have been made no bones of begging for automobiles, but Cadillac, you need to build this thing. It would be pretty doggone epic. Speaking of epic, you know about the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT. And we talked about the folks over at Fiat Chrysler Automobiles actually trademarking the name Trackhawk. You know about the Trailhawk, which is actually a version of the Jeep Cherokee. Well, the Grand Cherokee is going to get a version called the Trackhawk, which is going to replace the SRT version with that 6.4 liter normally aspirated Hemi V8. It's going to be replaced with a 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8. Yes, it's going to get the Hellcat. 707 brake horsepower, 650 pounds feet of torque. And early talks, at least from the folks over at Motor Trend, are claiming that the all wheel drive system is already being beefed up to handle that kind of power. Which means that if I were going to get a Hellcat, this is the one I would get. What a missile this thing would be. So. Cannot wait. Hope that this deal is true. Sounds like it may be. Next up on the list, well, this is going to be a little bit of the blasphemy part of the show. Remember the Lamborghini Urus, the little sport utility slash crossover? It's official. It's going into production. The folks over at Lamborghini have taken the money from the Italian government. We talked about one of the last shows about building a brand new plant to build this particular machine. In fact... 
Lamborghini is claiming that they're going to make some big sales numbers out of this machine. Oddly enough, they only sold 2,500 units in the year of 2014, which was actually a huge year for them. They're claiming the new Urus is going to sell 3,000 units per year. Yes, Lamborghini's plan on doubling the amount of machines that they're going to build and sell every year, which is hugely impressive. Sticking with Lamborghini and this car, which is not a Lamborghini, it is the Audi TT RS Club Sport concept that was shown off at the Werther Sea extravaganza of horsepower over in Austria. Now, this particular machine was rumored to have a 2.5 liter straight five cylinder that is turbocharged and supercharged. Yes, it's going to have an electric supercharger, which is going to take a lot of the strain off of the engine. The electric engine is actually going to spool up the supercharger, which is going to give you low-end revs until the engine gains RPMs and gains speed up to where the turbos kick in and they spool up, and that's where the bulk of the power is going to become. Now, why do I talk about this particular car? Because it's older brother, the new Audi R8, and this machine the brand new Lamborghini Hurricane. Apparently, this may be this lump may be going into these two machines. Now, I know this sounds a little crazy, and the folks over at Car and Driver were actually talking about this particular deal, and it was a very interesting little article. Apparently, well, just like here in the United States, basically California makes a bunch of weirdo laws when it comes to automobiles, and basically the rest of the United States has to follow them. Apparently now China is the same situation for the rest of the world. They may have this 2.5 liter 5 cylinder turbocharged supercharged unit inside of the Hurricane and the new Audi R8 just to be sold in China. And the reason is for this. China has a weird law, or a weird tax I guess I should say, where they will tax anything with a larger displacement of 2 liters. At 2 liters you get a 2% tax. But by the time you get to just 4 liters, which would be a suitable engine for these particular machines, being that twin turbocharged 4 liter V8 that's in Audi's big sedans, there's a 40% tax, and it keeps going up, and especially when you look at the 5.2 liter normally aspirated V10 that is in the Audi R8 and the Lamborghini Huracan. Apparently, this new 2.5 engine could make upwards of 60 brake horsepower more than that 5.2 liter normally aspirated V10, which may be the reason it may get to be sold in China. Now, I'm not saying that this vehicle is going to want sale all over the place. Not to mention, I don't really think it's going to capture a whole ton more sales, because would you really want that in your Lamborghini Hurricane or brand new Audi R8? Kind of weird, but it is interesting to say the least. Last up on the list, we talked about Mr. James Hinchcliffe had a horrible accident the week of the Indianapolis 500. In fact, I misspoke. The suspension piece that pierced through the carbon monocoque actually didn't hit him in the leg. It got him in the hip, but the massive blood loss meant he almost died at the speedway. In fact, it weren't for the fast-acting crew at the track. He could have lost his life. Well, the day of the taping of this particular program, this photo hit the old interwebs. Yes, it's Mr. Hinchcliffe being released from hospital. In fact, getting a little escort out by the second place finisher in this year's Indianapolis 500 and the winner of the Indianapolis Grand Prix a couple of weeks before, Mr. Will Power. Love the look on Hinch's face as he's may have got a pretty exciting ride outside of the hospital. Good for you, Hinch. Well on the road to recovery. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, the link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Whew. Whew. Did I make it? I made it. Sweet.